Hey, y'all. Happy Tuesday. What are y'all working on tonight? Tonight is probably going to be kind of quick because I am a little tired, but I did want to come on, discuss what we we're going to be doing on Friday. I have not even set up the, the pattern yet. And then we are going to look at some rhinestones, y'all, because the buy-in is in full effect. And so we're going to look at some rhinestones. We're also going to test out um, some rhinestones as far as like testing out laminate. And also I want to test out this clear Oracle um, 651. So hold on a second, y'all. But hey, y'all. Hey, Mirror Bear. I saw you here bright and early. Hey, Boo. What's up? Hey, Sandra, what's up? Hold on, y'all. Who else is here? Hey, Taryn, happy Tuesday. So y'all, that's what we're gonna be doing. We're also going to just sub on some Oracle and Laminate. We have done that a thousand times. And then we are going to also um, do it onto that clear, Oracle 651. Now you can't press the rhinestones into the regular Oracle, but I want to try the clear Oracle to see, and then maybe we can make our own decals. So I was too lazy to design anything. Well, I'm not going to say I was too lazy. I was actually too busy to really stop today and design anything. I wanted to do it yesterday. That didn't happen. And so, um, I don't know why my auntie's texting me telling me she can't get on. Is anybody having a hard time getting onto um the the live? I don't know. I don't know. So we are going to just do something that we've done already. Um and spread some rhinestones and I'm gonna show y'all that. So let me go back a little bit. Shay Shay. Hey, T Create. Hey, Shay Shay Boo. Uh oh, I'm a little. Y'all, I am so far behind. Hey, Shay Shay. How are you? Hey, Barb LaFont. Hey, Mrs. Harris. Welcome. We are almost done with the school year, y'all. Y'all, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to almost be done with this school year. It seems like it's just last week I was a hot mess and this week's starting off okay, but y'all, I'm so ready. Hey, Venice, welcome. Hey, Angel, and y'all, if y'all did not see in the community section, I posted a picture of Angel and I, and y'all, I met Angel B Designs over the weekend, and she is just as pleasant in person as she is online. I absolutely love her. We had a nice time. We spent maybe about four hours together, three hours, Angel, three or four hours together until I had to go to the bathroom. And if y'all don't know, I have severe bathroom issues. <laughs> and so I had to go to the bathroom. And so that kind of ended our trip a little bit, but I had such a wonderful time. And I'm so glad that you took out time from your vacation to hang with me. And she was so pleasantly kind to my friend Fifi too, who rode with me to go and see her. So we are hoping to plan something like a craft collab when she comes to Miami. I mean, I'm just trying to put it out there that she's gonna come to Miami for our craft collab, but hey, boo. Hey, Rosalind, welcome and happy Tuesday. Yeah, it was a really, really good Tuesday. I really had a good, a good day. I hope y'all had a good day. If not, I pray that your day gets better. Hey, MLW Fishing Man. Hey, Sandra. So that's what we're going to be doing today. On Friday, if you guys do not know, Dems Designs and the Baby's Booty and myself, we will be on crafts and combos and we are going to be sewing a hoodie. Now y'all, I'm hoping for the best. I'm actually praying for the best, but y'all know sometimes it's a hot mess over here and I have not even cut out that pattern yet. I have downloaded it, but I have not even cut out the pattern. And if you are interested in doing that, 
I got the pattern off of Creative Fabrica. And for those of you who don't know, um, Creative Fabrica has their dollar deal where it's a dollar for the first month. And then it is $19 each additional month after that. And my link is not listed below because, of course, your girl was running a lot behind today. But in the previous video, the link is there. So be sure to check them out. You will get access to millions of graphics and designs. And also, if y'all did not know, my latest class on Creative Fabrica is uploaded and I pretty much just did a rhinestone shirt. So that's what it is. And Karen, if you are here, girl, I just put your shirt in the mail today. All right. So hopefully you will get that shirt that you won the other week. Hey, Jesse, Welcome. Oh, Venice, oh, let me send you some energy through the airwaves. Hopefully you caught it. Hey, Kirsten, what's up, girl? Happy Tuesday, boo. What you working on? What are you guys working on tonight, y'all? No, I need to know y'all. No, I'm nosy, just like my, my friend Josie. But I want to know what y'all working on tonight. What y'all got going on? How was your day? Hey, Angie, welcome. Hey, Miss Merlinda, happy Tuesday. Dempsey boo. Hey, my love. Hey, girl, I need help because I don't even know what I'm going to be doing with this template, girl. It's a hot mess over here. A hot mess. So I'm trying not to keep y'all on too late tonight um, because I do need a little bit of rest. I am a little bit tired. I, I did not take my vitamins this morning and I can kind of feel it a little bit. I can feel it in my eyes. My eyes don't look tired, y'all. So I really just, um, I want to do this. And I also have to make another one of those. Remember, I made that shirt for my boss, that um, Delta shirt. So I need to make another one for my actual boss <laughs> for his wife, um, uh, a Delta shirt. So we may press that tonight. I may spread the rhinestones and we may press that together if y'all got time. But this first part shouldn't take that long for us to do. It's just a test. It's just a test. So... Um, we talked a little bit about the cropped hoodies that we're going to be making on Friday. Now we are going to move into the buy-in. So Eve has her buy-in. Hey, Montgomery. I am not ignoring you, Montgomery. Hey, Montgomery. Y'all, I have some people who will be upset with me if I don't say hi to them. And that is Travis Montgomery. All right. So I had to replay. Well, I didn't replay it for him yet, but I was like, I did speak to you the other night audacity hey elizabeth welcome hey ashita so yes y'all i'm gonna spend a few minutes saying hey to everybody because i love y'all and i'm so happy and i'm super thankful that you guys take out time from your life to spend with me so thank you i appreciate it let's see let's see y'all know i'm already behind i'm scrolling up but yvonne hey yvonne from california welcome Hey, Latanya. So, y'all, let me go down. Let me go down. Hey, being Pam B. Hey, B. Hargett. Hey, Sonia and Angela. Y'all, I'm scrolling down because y'all already know I'm a hot mess and I'm always behind because I talk too much. But hey, Sadie and Bobby. You were talking about that when I was watching her live. Yes. So, Eve's buy in started on Sunday and Eve is the baby's booty. Um, I think I'm going to, wait, I need to link her, her website if Dimps or Marilyn is still here. If y'all are available, could y'all please put Eve's website in the chat, please, so that everybody can know. Hey, Creative Kim. But also, y'all, I have to get my shirt so I can get my rhinestone shirt. <laughs> but you haven't brought it to me yet, Montgomery, so you don't want it. You don't. You don't want it. Hey, Teresa, Sister Heartcrafts and Things. Welcome. So, y'all, I have a link posted above. Remember, we started this podcast. Y'all, I need 100 subscribers. And I think we're at like 83 subscribers on that channel. I know it's a hot mess. I know it's a hot mess. My co-host is a hot mess. But please go over there and click that subscribe button, y'all. Also, for all of you guys who have been on going over to my Patrice L page, I have not posted over there in over a month and it is still growing. So thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate your support everywhere. 
I really do. But please head over to the podcast and please check Terrell and I out. It's, y'all thought I was a hot mess. He's really a hot mess. Hey, Chef, Sharon Davenport. Welcome. Hey, Paulette. See, I missed the link because you are you know I'm always behind. Hey, Jan. So the buy-in, Jan, is going to be over on Sunday night. I think Sunday night is the last day to get in on the buy-in. And for those of you who may be new or you may not have ever heard of us talk about this buy-in, hey, Kim. Thank you, Bobby. So the buy-in is um, it's the baby's booty. And you ha- she has a YouTube. She also has a Facebook group, the Hoop Group, and her Facebook page is The Baby's Booty. But her website, she sells rhinestones, but she orders them in bulk from China. And then once the orders are placed, then she orders it from China. And so we're able to get an excellent deal off of some amazing rhinestones. All right, so tonight we are going to be working with some of those rhinestones. I'm actually going to switch over to the overhead in a second so that you can see like some of these rhinestones. And I'm also waiting on my last order to come. And of course I'm ordering me some more because y'all the diamond black rhinestones are my absolute favorite. They are gorgeous and I think we're going to use some tonight for the shirt that I need to make. So y'all will be able to see it. But the rhinestone, it's an excellent, 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 excellent deal on these rhinestones. So I'm going to get ready to switch over to the overhead. We are going to try to move pretty quickly. Jesse, well, hate to see you go, Jesse, but you always catch the replay and I appreciate you. So I'm sure that I'll see you later, Jesse. Thank you so much. All right, let me mute this because y'all know and I do not want my um, nose in the way as it usually is. <laughs> See? Oh, thank you. They are super, super beautiful. Hey, Natalie Hatchet. Welcome. Y'all, so, but nobody's telling me what they're working on tonight. What are you guys working on? I'm just over here. Um... I'm trying something new. I haven't even tested this out yet. So this is going to be a, like the very, very first test that I actually do with this. So it almost got me. All right. So I'm going to switch from. Sorry, y'all. I forgot that my speaker was on. Can you guys hear me? If you can hear me say, yes, girl, we could hear you a little tired. So look, y'all, look, first of all, look how clear this tea is tonight. It is not a craft tea talk. It's just going to be a, a, a talk, a craft talk, not a craft tea talk. Because, y'all, I don't know what, I'm really going to take this back to them tomorrow. Because I sipped on, I'm like, y'all have got to be kidding me. It was horrible today. So, yes. So I don't know. All right, so we're on the we're at the table, and I'm just gonna go through some of the rhinestones so that you guys can kind of see them. The lighting is not all that good. Um, so let's see if it's better if I turn it. <laughs> Jan, I love you. Yes, I love. Oh, y'all, guess what? So my student who I made that graduation topper for for her sister, guess which one? For those of you who who joined me on what was that? Oh my washing machine. I'm sorry, y'all. For those of you who joined me on Saturday, remember we did the graduation cap topper. And so we did the one with the glitter and then we did the one with the laminate on top of the cardstock. Y'all, guess which one she liked the best? And so I was like, you know what? Let me at least try to get a little bit more ink onto it because she prefers the glitter one. She doesn't, she didn't like, she's like, oh, that's nice. The one that was with the laminate, the one that we all liked. I was like, girl, you could have saved me a whole bunch of time had I known you were going to like it. But it's all good. It's all good. So these are some of the rhinestones that the baby's booty has. And y'all saw me use these. This is not a good position. Okay, that's better. (laughs) 
Nini's working on a Father's Day pillow. So y'all want to see, okay, so next week, it's closer to Father's Day. Y'all want to do some, Um, I have some flasks, and y'all probably, oh, y'all can see a little bit now. So I have the X tool because I'm working on the rotary, um, the new rotary attachment. I'm not really too familiar with it um, just yet, but I'm working on it. And so I do want to make some flask. I have these black flasks from Amazon. And so we may do some like Father's Day activities next week. Let me know if y'all in for that. If y'all want to do some Father's Day activities. Uh-oh. Montgomery, what are you talking about? Y'all, I'm putting rhinestones everywhere. Being nosy in a chat. Being nosy. Hold on. All right. So these are, I'll get them. I'll get the runaways later. But these are like the blue neon. And so I can't wait because I ordered, I think, the purple. I ordered the white. And there might be another color that I ordered. But these are, and I'm wasting them everywhere. But these are like the blue. Let me see if the lighting looks better. Nope. But these are the blue. And then we have like pink. This is the neon treasure trove collection. And so now she actually has more colors for the neon treasure trove. Yo, I'm not, I, I was about to try to show y'all. Eve does it so smoothly. I'm not um, a professional in showing rhinestones. So I'm not even about to be taking these out because I'm wasting them everywhere. Everywhere, y'all. It's a hot mess over here. But these are all 10SS. And I think the treasure trove, I got to check with Eve, but I think the treasure trove, this particular color comes only in 10SS. I'm not sure. I got to double check with her, but... This is the Neon Treasure Trove collection. If you didn't see, I do have a, a live where I kind of showed using um, these, these colors. Montgomery, don't lay it on too thick. Hey, Nicole. Still working on your shirt order. Kenya. So this, I don't even know how much this is actually creative, but she has it on her website. I'm not sure how much this one, I'm not sure how much they are. I really don't know how much they are really. I'm sorry, but this is the neon treasure trove collection. And then I have this, these are the pear dot and these are like the, the green. I don't know if you guys can really see that, but these are like the green. This is the August um, birth color is the pear dot which is my birthstone. And so I was gonna make something with these tonight, but we're just practicing. We're just testing out this laminate to see how it works. And then of course there's so many other colors. Like these are the crystal ABs. We've seen tons of crystal ABs, but I wanna use, tonight we are going to use these fuchsia. Um, this is the fuchsia, so y'all will see how this fuchsia looks. So we're going to use the fuchsia, and then we are also going to use some of these. Um, these are the black diamonds. I want you guys to see how that looks. So we're going to use some of the black diamonds. I don't know. You guys can't really tell that good. This camera, the, the phone camera isn't all that great. So I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then we're going to use some red, but these reds came from... Mirror bear. So this is what we're going to use for the shirt that I need to make. But now we're going to test out. Um, we're going to test some stuff out. All right. So let's get started with testing. Uh-oh. I want to drop this. Let me see if I'm missing anybody. So I'm going to leave my rhinestones right here for now. I'm not going to move them. Uh-oh. Hey, Tammy, welcome. And if I missed anybody, I'm sorry, but y'all know that I can't keep up with anything. So now we're just going to go ahead and cut. This is a, this is sublimation. So we are going to sub on top of the laminate and the, um, the Oracle 651. So we're going to be using white Oracle 651. You can sub directly onto Oracle 651. You can. Now, I find that when I sub onto Oracle 651, it's kind of dull. And so it doesn't, like, I don't really like it. Sometimes I probably just sub too long on it. I don't know. But it looks kind of dull to me. So.
So what we're going to do is, hold on. Because we are going to be doing rhinestones, we are going to see if we can make our own decal, okay? So a lot of times you see people where they have like the blinged out decals on their cars and different things like that. And so typically I would use the blinged anything from the rhinestone world. And that works beautifully. The blinged anything works beautifully. And also the HTV anything works amazingly. But today we're going to see if we can press this laminate into the Oracle 651. Then we're going to sub on top of the Oracle 651. And then we're going to press the rhinestones on top. So we want to see if that is going to, to work. And hopefully it will. Now, you don't have to sub onto it. You can just simply use... Um, you can just simply put the rhinestones on top and not sub onto it. So we may try both ways to see how that will work. But for now, we are. this is what we're going to be testing out. So let's prepare. I did not... Uh -oh, I'm trying to move that out of the way. I'm sorry. I did not... Um, I forgot what I was about to tell y'all, actually. I don't know if I'm getting stuff all the time. I'm trying to make sure you guys could see good but i don't know all right this looks like this is as best as it's gonna get and so i am just going to cut enough so that i could sub onto here and then i may do like two pieces of um two of the hot girl templates to see how it will look with just the rhinestone hey josie boo welcome so yeah, y'all. I've been a hot mess of a person. Today was good. I got home. Had a lot of stuff to do, and I did not really prepare as fully as I wanted to prepare for tonight. Hey, Christine. Welcome. Hey, Fifi. Fifi, you called me. I answered the phone, but you um, it's like I couldn't hear you. I don't know what happened. All right, y'all. So this is what we're gonna do. So I'm just doing this to cut it to see, to make sure I have enough uh, space here. And so we're gonna cut that. Uh-oh, I'm just dropping everything. And then we are going to place a piece of laminate on top. Hey, Fabulosis. Hey, Tamika. Josie, boy, I had, hope you had a good day today. All right, so I'm just cutting this laminate. And I'm gonna cut this, press it really quick, and then I'm gonna sub onto it because I need to turn the temperature down. So this is gonna be our first press. Let me see if I missed anybody. I didn't. So remember, Eve's buy-in is going to be until Sunday. It's from this past Sunday until uh, Sunday coming, all right? All right, so we are going to press this. Let me press this really quick. And then we are going to sub. You know what I do with my little sublimation? This time? Is this my clear one? Oh, here it is right here. Let me press it really quick, and then we're going to sub it. All right, so I'm going to go over here. Uh-oh. Yo, where's my Teflon? Oh, here it is. I'm going to test on my, my parchment paper. Right, so I'm just going to put this on the bottom, and I'm only putting this on the bottom. I don't use parchment paper for sublimation, um, but for when I'm using, like, um, the laminate and stuff, that's what I use it for so that it doesn't really, like, stick to the bottom. But I, oh, here it is right here. All right, so I'm just going to, I'm not going to use this because I have my Teflon sheet already. And so before it goes under, it's already kind of heating up onto the, uh -uh, I'm gonna put this on here just in case. I have a little bit of that um, Oracle 651 exposed. And so I'm only doing it for a few seconds because this temperature is really, really high. Right now it's at 480. And so if you 
laminate anything, Oracle or whatever it is that you may want to laminate, you want to make sure that you kind of to avoid having any wrinkles or bubbles or anything like that in your, your sheet. You want to make sure that you press it out. Now, my temperature is too high. And so you can see where some of that laminate underneath, not the laminate, the Oracle 651, looks like it kind of melted a little bit. Hey, Sezzy Mocha Crafts, welcome. So yeah, so now we're just gonna go ahead and sub on top of this. Let me get a piece of butcher paper. And so now that's what we're doing, so you guys can kind of see. So on top of the laminated, y'all can't see that. So 380, I meant. Sorry, Bobby. So on top of the, the laminated Oracle 651, I am going to sub onto this right here. All right. So that's what we're about to do now. And then I'm going to move this out of the way. And then we are just going to sub. I'm not really worried about taping it down or anything like that because I'm just not and so that's gonna go for it's at 380 degrees Bob you got me making sure I look at this again because I'm like let me make sure I don't have this at 480 but it's gonna be at 380 degrees and we're subbing it for 45 seconds that's it yes please and thank you hey Petrina please hit the thumbs up and if this is your first time here welcome I'm glad that you're here make sure to hit the thumbs up button and also the red subscribe button. I did them. Thank you, boo. All right. So let's see how this is going to turn out. All right. So let's see. Oh, no. I still should have had my, what you call it, underneath my parchment paper because it's them now. All right, so that subbed as expected. For those of you who um, have seen my channel before and seen others, because everybody subs onto Oracle 651, y'all knew that that was going to work just fine right so i'm just gonna go ahead and spread these um these rhinestones now what you can do is if you want to make a decal you can use your cricut to kind of do a contour not a contour cut uh, do an offset around here and then you can have like an actual sticker once i press the rhinestones into it i'm just going to simply um cut around it i'm not going to do a cut with the cricut i told y'all today was a hot mess type of day if this works out really well, then maybe I'll do an actual video um, about it. So now we are going to spread our rhinestones. And for those of you who do not know, my rhinestones come from Eve, the baby's booty. But my supplies for rhinestones come from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And um, a link is not listed in the description. But I get all of my rhinestone supplies. What is this? I get all of my rhinestone supplies from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And this is Flock. And it makes spreading these rhinestones a lot easier. This Flock came from Heat Transfer Warehouse. This board is just a chopping mat from the Dollar Tree. They sell uh, these two for $1.25. I was about to say two for a dollar. But y'all know that those prices have gone up. And yeah. So... That's what it is. Hey, Mary Brown. Hey, Ariana. Yes, I did. I laminated. So for those of you who just came in, I um, laminated. See the edges right here? I laminated the Oracle 651, and then I subbed on top of that. You can sub directly onto Oracle 651. I find that it's a little bit dull and you have to play around with those temperatures. And I find a little bit, I find more success when the temperatures are a lot lower than higher with subbing onto the Oracle 651. But um, I did that and then this is what we have. 
you can cut this out. I was explaining to everybody before that you can like cut this out for a contour. I actually did not design anything for tonight. This is um, part of a file. It's actually just a little part of a file that I used on uh, Saturday. And so I just, since I had it already cut out, I was like, you know what? That'll save me time. I don't have to cut anything out. And so that is what we have. So right now we are using 6SS Fuchsia Rhinestones. And let me see if you guys can see that. No, y'all can't see that good at all. Y'all got to get closer to see these beauties. So these are the Fuchsia Rhinestones. And so here I am just spreading them in how we would usually spread rhinestones into the template. And you want to go in circular motion. And I also got this brush from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And as y'all see, with the 6SS rhinestones, I don't know why, but they always get caught up into the brush. So we could, it's, it's a hot mess. So you have to always be careful with with the um the six ss rhinestones i don't experience that much with the 10 ss though um this one is probably american typewriter i'm pretty sure that it is it looks like it is to me but i will definitely double check i'll double check before we before we get off my computer has been acting up because i have not updated it and it's like Every time I don't update it, it's because I think there's like a new um, a new operating system now. I think it's like the Monterey or something. I don't know, but it did remind me. Y'all, I love the 6SS. Look how easy it was for these to just fall into place. These fell into place so nicely. All right, so this is going to be the first. Um, Uh-oh. Y'all, nobody reminded me to turn it down Y'all would be reminding me to do the right thing. <laughs> Hold on. So now I'm just turning the temperature down to 325. And then I'm going to press this at 325 for 20 seconds. Oh, it should be going down. Okay, it's going down. I meant to do it while I was pressing, but y'all... Just look how beautiful these rhinestones are. And hey to everybody just coming in. I don't even know if y'all could really tell. Y'all, look how beautiful these are. These are the fuchsia rhinestones, and these are the 6SS rhinestones. But they are so gorgeous. So what we're going to do is, the heat press is, is cooling off. We're going to press this on top of the laminate and Oracle 651 to see if we can make our own decal with it right and we're gonna see you can do this with um bling anything from the rhinestone world i don't know how durable it's gonna be i'm gonna have to test it out so that means that i'll probably have to um put it i'm not putting hot girl on my car because i ain't no hot girl but i'm gonna have to test it out somehow so i don't know how i'm gonna test it out but y'all we gotta test it out to see if it you know if it's legit or not so I'm going to transfer this over. Hold on. I need to transfer it over. And then I'm going to do another. Oh, I should have pressed that other one. But I'm going to do another um, hot girl, but without the back. So we're just going to press the rhinestones um, without sublimation onto the laminate and oracle. Hey, Martha. Hey, Martha. So for those of you just coming in or those of you who didn't tell me before, what are y'all working on? What y'all got going on tonight? I'm super excited, y'all. The end of the year is almost here. Even though y'all know I done told these people that I was going to work summer school. I don't know what happened. You remember all that trash I was talking that I was not working summer school? I had a lot of stuff to do. Well, guess what? Guess who agreed to work summer school, y'all? Me. But it's all good because most of my kids, a lot of my kids will be there. Not all of them, but some of them will be there. So hopefully they'll get it right. But now I'm just brushing these rhinestones into the container because I don't want to waste them. And again, these are rhinestones from the Baby's Booties buy-in. And the buy-in, you're buying rhinestones in bulk. Uh-oh. I 
don't want to lift it up. And then I have to put like these extra rhinestones back inside. Uh oh. Alright, so let me go ahead and transfer this over to the transfer tape. Hey Mary Brown. Welcome. Hey Wana, where's Wana? I didn't see you. Girl, you know I'm not a hot girl tips. I'm a hot mess. That's that's the only hot I am. It's a hot mess, and y'all know that. That is it. Okay, oh, Wana. <laughs> y'all are a hot mess. Hey, Candace, welcome. All right, so I am just going to go ahead and we are going to press some of this onto the transfer tape. And y'all, I'm just using old transfer tape. And that's going to work just fine. I hope I just cut this big enough. It doesn't look like it. Oh, maybe I did. All right, so y'all know this gives me anxiety. Oh, I got to take a deep breath before I put this down. But y'all know what I find? The older the transfer tape is, the easier it is for it to kind of like lay better. Like without the rhinestones really jumping out of place, I find that it's a lot easier. So, hey Theodore, welcome. Summer school started already, Marilyn? Oh my, Marilyn, when was your last day of school? Y'all know our last day of school isn't until like the the eighth or the ninth. It's the ninth, y'all. So I am going to be working. So this is kind of how I make sure, especially when the transfer tape is old. I just kind of like move the right, like press into the rhinestones and the transfer tape together and this transfer tape also came from heat transfer warehouse but you want to make sure that you get the right transfer tape so this is hot fix transfer tape um heat transfer warehouse sells this they do have some on amazon that you can get as well but i usually get all of my um accessories my rhinestone accessories from the amazing folks at heat transfer warehouse and y'all they sent me some blow pops in the mail because they sent me some um they sent me some ink Yo, how about they send me some ink for my sawgrass? And I had just bought some ink. I was like, you know what? I just bought ink from them. And they sent me some ink courtesy of Caesar. Oh, so, but thank God I got extra ink. So I'll, I'm happy about it. All right. So it's usually good to kind of go slow. So that way, as y'all saw, like I was putting it back down to like try to pick up the ones that did not get attached to to it and so it's still heating up so i'm going to wait before i actually put it on here so i'm just going to put it right back onto the backing or do i want to put it on the backing no no i don't I, I don't ever do the right thing hey felina hey persistent consistent hustle welcome Oh, being Pam, I should have refused to. Last day was... Y'all started summer school super, super fast, Marilyn. That was super fast. All right, y'all. So let me see what other rhinestones. So I could put put some more... I could do um some of the Crystal AB. I have... What other 6SS? Because all the designs I cut... Y'all know I like the 6SS rhinestones. Oh, I have like this other... I have like the rose... The rose pink... Which we could try. Y'all want to try doing the rose pink? Hey, Kip Designs. Hey, Latricia. Hey, girl. All right, so I have like the rose, but we're already going to be using the hot, hot pink. Ugh. You know what we're going to do? So for this one, we are going to do a, oh, let's use the rainbow. I have 6SS rainbow. It'll last four weeks. My contract ends next Tuesday. Okay, so you're going to be on vacation, right? You're not working summer school, Marilyn. Correct? Our summer school is six weeks, y'all. Six weeks. 
but it's Monday through Thursday, and it's only like three and a half, um, three and a half to four hours a day. So it's not too bad, but I don't know what I was thinking. I don't know. I really don't. But it's all good. So these are the rainbow. So let's see how these look. And we're going to press this also into um, the laminate, but we're not going to sub underneath it. So we'll see how this is going to look. And also, like, it really depends on the cut file for the rhinestones, like how it looks. So the letters are pretty clear. One of my students were recommended for ESY last day. Oh, B and Pam, are you serious? That's awesome, though. We have some kids going into ours. My kids, y'all know I, I switched, so I do like the gen ed kids um who have more so learning uh oh what is this learning disabilities but y'all know i'm gonna be with the with my other babies too can't be there and not chill with them all right y'all uh oh all right so i see like a rhinestone that i don't like here so when you're going, sometimes you may find like rhinestones that don't belong. That could be that could be from me. I could have like brushed an extra color rhinestone into the mix. Um, but it's good to kind of just like look at it and make sure everything is how it's supposed to be. But these are really pretty. I, I gotta move the camera so you guys can see how those look too. But those are pretty. Hey, 755 Media, 755 Media. Girl, they messed up my tea today, and I'm not happy about it. And thank you so much for my Monday mention. I felt so special because I was not super motivated yesterday. And thank you. I appreciate you. For those of you who don't know, 755 Media has a channel. She has two channels. She also has Just Kidding, where she... Uh, provides art instruction to kids and to adults. So if you want to do um, art and learn how to paint, she gives excellent lessons. All right. Excellent, excellent, excellent lessons on painting. She is an amazing artist. So check her out. And yesterday, every Monday, she does Monday mentions and she gave me a shout out. For Monday mentions last week and I was for this week actually and I was very very honored so check it check her out 755 media and you'll be entertained all the way around there's comedy there's theater there's musicals like you y'all yeah you'll be pretty pretty happy she does way more than just painting and crafting it's a whole show over there. All right. Oh, I want y'all. These are so pretty. This rainbow is so pretty, y'all. I gotta show y'all this. Where is Mary? Who's? Hey, Mary Warzak. Y'all. Every time I say that I'm gonna get better on Discord, I don't. So y'all, please. I also have a Discord. Please go over there and check me out on Discord. Me, Mary, Barb, Blaze. Everybody's over there. Dance. everybody's over there on discord so please check me out on discord i'm trying to work work hard to really be able to focus that's really why i want to take the summer off but i don't know i didn't i didn't i didn't and i should have all right yeah y'all i'm gonna have to kind of speed up we're gonna do that other shirt too but i still oh it's ready, but I still need to eat some dinner because I ain't eat nothing today. Mary, what are you working on? I know you're sewing something, and I just know it. I could just feel it. Uh-oh. Y'all, I'm trying to get all these rhinestones all over the place. Okay. So here are the... And then I'm going to show you the other one that we're going to try. I don't really know because it's still considered to be Oracle 651. But it's the clear, the transparent Oracle 651. So I don't know if that will work or if it won't work. So we're just going to be testing that out too. Building for craft show June 11th. 
surgeon some bummies. Oh my goodness, I need to take my surgeon out. It's like you post, you post, um, oh y'all look. So Discord is like you just post um, pictures and it's kind of like, it's just a community, kind of like a social site or so. But y'all look how pretty those are. I don't know if y'all can so. See the lighting is not doing these any justice. My lighting is horrible, y'all. I be trying to be better with lighting, but it's not good. But look how pretty those are. All right. So let me go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and press. Remember, we have. And then once I press that, then we'll transfer the other one over. So we have this, which is Oracle 651 with laminate on top. And then we are going to apply this rhinestone template on top. All right, and then we're going to see how it looks. It's already ready for us, so the temperature looks good. I just need to apply this to the sheet. And so far, it looks okay. So, let's see. It looks like I might have it done good. I don't know, but we're going to see. I should have had my... Oh, here's my tape. I need to put some tape on it because the Oracle 651 is kind of curled up, which makes it a little bit difficult to really, to really, really handle. All right, so let me get my... Step one sheet. We're gonna press it. We're pressing it for 25 for 25 seconds. Or 20 seconds. I'm sorry. Y'all, this is so pretty. Y'all can't even see how pretty that looks. Look at that. And those are the rain the rainbow rhinestones. All of these rhinestones came from Eve, the baby's booty. Alright, so we are going to this together. Uh-oh. Okay, so one thing I may say, let's see what happens when we move it. So I'm going to, typically you want to remove it while it's hot. And then we have one more test to do. We have, well, two more actually. All right, so we are going to see if this sticks. And right now it looks like it is sticking onto the damn it. All right, and so we're gonna give it some testing and we're gonna see if we can like peel it off. So I'm rubbing it now with my nails. I don't know if you guys can see or hear, but I'm rubbing it with my nails, trying to rub off the, and I should have probably waited until it cooled and not while it was hot. The temperature is at 325, Ariana. And so this is so far what the decal will look like. Now, what I could say is, let's say if you don't want this white background, I am going to use, I should do two, I may do another one. Because we can test it out with that clear Oracle 651 and see how it's going to look with that. Like, Because now this has a white background to it. And I think I would want it clear. Do you guys agree? Like, I think I want it to be clear. Of course, I'm cutting this with my scissors. But you can definitely cut this with your, um, your Cricut, your Silhouette, Starcraft, whatever it is that you have. You can cut it. You don't have to. You know, I'm just doing it manually here because I really was just too lazy to plug in the Cricut tonight, honestly. That's, I mean, there's really no reason why I didn't use it. And here I just wanted to kind of give like a demonstration. So, so now we're just cutting, cutting it out. And so we'll try this with the clear, okay? So... It may not work. We may not be able to press these rhinestones into the clear um, backing. So then what you can do is you can just peel off. Uh-oh. 
Let me try to peel off that backing. Because see, the backing is still on it, if you guys could see it. And then I'll show you guys the clear. So do you y'all want to do both? I'll do two. Do you want to do like the clear? Um, I'm going to have to print out another. Did I close it? I'm going to print out another one of these. Um, God, do I want to do that? I'm going to show you guys. Because I don't know. I, I don't think I've tried to sub onto that clear. I could put a piece of lemon on top. So now y'all look, now you have a decal. You have a sticker, a sticker decal that you can place. And remember that Oracle is, this is permanent vinyl. So this is, this is a sticker with the rhinestones that we pressed with the Oracle. Now this could go onto a tumbler because Remember those cups that we would get from the Dollar Tree? That's how I would do them. I would do them with the, um, uh oh, I was trying to show y'all. I was going to put it on here. So with the cups from the Dollar Tree, I actually would sub onto the laminate and the Oracle. And then I would just place it around those travel cups. So we could definitely do something like that. And so... Now I have me a permanent sticker. Those rhinestones are on that. Let me tell you something. If you have like um, regular uh, vinyl or HTV, these rhinestones, with me pushing these rhinestones the way that I'm doing it, they will just come off. Like they would not stay on there like that. So I think we have, we have a legit solution to some situations, y'all. All right, so we are going to next. This is the clear Oracle 651. And I usually use the, this like on top of stickers or the magnets and different things like that. That's not going outside. So I do want you guys to see. So it's clear, but it's Oracle. Look, it's, well, you can't see. You can only see the back of it. But it's Oracle 651. I do have a larger sheet. So we're going to test this out. I don't know if this can be subbed directly onto. I don't know. But we are going to try to press this onto here. And then we'll test another piece out to kind of make that same like hot girl sticker or a crafty sticker. Let's make a crafty sticker this time and see how that's going to go. All right. So let me get my um, another piece of transfer tape. Let's see. And then we are going to test, test the other one out. All right, so, uh-oh, y'all. I'm always doing it too small, but guess what? We're going to go with it. We're just going to drop it on down. And that that's too close, too close for comfort. Nicole, I'm not a hot girl. I'm just using this old file for my student that I used the other day because I was too lazy to make anything else. I told y'all I was a tie little something today. Just tie. Onto the clear vinyl. Oh, see? T Hill? I need to do that then. Okay, so we I'm gonna print out, I'm gonna print out another um hot girl. Yo, how many hot girl stickers I'm gonna print out? I wanna be a hot girl so bad. So bad, because that's all I keep printing out tonight. Like, come on. I'm going to try it. I'm going to see how that works. And then it's the Oracle, the clear Oracle. It's like a clear Oracle laminate. So I'm going to see if I can. I'm going to sub directly onto it. And then we'll place the rhinestones on top of that. I got to adjust the um, the temperature for the heat press again when I get ready to sub it. though. We're still in good time. Still gotta get me some food. All right. So this is the clear oracle. Let me see if this is enough. Um, if it's a if it's big enough. Okay, it's actually right there, so we can I can go with it. I'm gonna definitely go with it. So I am going to put this 
onto the heat press. I'm going to tape it down and then we are going to press on top of it. <laughs> I need to. I could. I should have saved this one, but it's a white, like the white background. If that, if the Oracle had been subbed and there was like a color outlining that area, area then it would be a lot better. But that wasn't professionally done. So now we're going to head back over to the heat press and I am going to press directly into the Oracle and then we're going to try doing a sub version of it. To see. All right, so right now I'm actually taping it down because it's kind of curled. And so I don't really want it to be curled up. And then we are going to take this and then we're going to press directly into it. <laughs> Kim, I need that black skirt, girl. I need to be wearing that black skirt. All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so I'm going to press this the same, 25 for 20 seconds. And this is us pressing these rhinestones directly into the clear Oracle 651. Now, we're going to see if this requires the laminate because it may require the laminate we don't we don't know we can only test it out and see and i'm pressing for the same amount of time 20 seconds at 325 degrees all right let's see Alright, so I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna come back under the camera. I know we're going to check it out. Alright, let's see. Let me move this tape. I don't want to move the tape because the tape is actually on the Oracle. Alright, let's see. Uh oh. Oh no, y'all. All right, so it's actually peeling both up at this point. I don't want to peel the Oracle off just yet. So let's see if this takes it. All right, so now we are peeling off. This is a transfer tape. All right, so now we got to give it the scratch test, y'all. We got to give it the scratch test to see if it actually... Welcome back, Tessie. I'm still here trying to figure this out. All right, y'all. So this is the clear. Now let's see. Y'all. Oh, snap. Okay, clear. Look at the clear, y'all. Okay, so let's see. We are going to cut it off, and then I'm going to peel it off. So I did let it cool before I started, you know, scratching it. And I'm doing it with my nails. And if y'all have ever done rhinestones onto any type of regular vinyl, y'all know that these rhinestones pop off. Pop off like some press-on nails. And this is not popping off, so... All right, maybe this is legit, y'all. Oh, snap. Okay, so this is the Hey Dorica, y'all. The, the heat tape is getting stuck to my hair. I can't. All right, let me fix that. All right, so this is the clear. And so I'm going to, this is the clear without any color behind it. So I'm going to peel this off so that you guys could kind of see like the difference of it. Let me turn off the lights. Okay, so this is what those rhinestones look like right now. And then this is, uh-oh, nope, it's one just popped off. Look, no, they're popping off now. So that's a no-go. Look, that one's a no-go. That is a go. This is a no-go. Look. So these are not like the other ones, so that did not work good. 
So let me see if we could do with the, hold on, with the laminate. I want to peel the rest off. So let me see this. All right, the ones on the on the board, they're still going with the laminate. They're still on there. These, no. So I am going to do the same thing with laminate, but on top of the clear, um, the clear oracle. I do want to use the same piece of oracle though for my um, laminate. Believe it or not, some of them came off, some of them didn't. I would say a no. Because look, some of them came off and some of them stuck on. Some of them are still there. So I don't know. Do y'all think I need more pressure? No. Hold on, let me see. No, they come off too easy. So with the ones that's on the Oracle, the white Oracle, you can see an indentation on that Oracle. On these, you don't see any indentation on, on that one, see? So that's a no-go. But don't worry. Don't fret, guys. We have one more test to do. We have to do... Actually, we're going to have two. So we are going to actually sub on two. We're going to do a sub, and we're also going to do a um, piece of laminate on top of the, the other one. I don't really want to put these back into my container because I don't... Let me look at the bottom. I don't want my... I don't know if the adhesive is on the back of these now, which is possible. So we're just going to roll this batch aside. I'll figure that out later. And we're going to do it again. Hold on, y'all. Let me print out another copy of that image. Oh, no, y'all. Oh, no. I closed it. Let me try to open it again. Here it is. All right. So I am going to go ahead and print out that hot girl again so that we can sub on top of it. And then we are going to... Uh, we'll sub it and then we'll press... We'll do the laminate. The same way we did the uh, white oracle, we're going to do the clear oracle. So now we know you cannot press directly onto that clear... Um, Oracle. The lamination sheets, y'all, that's what looks like that's the, the key component of getting these types of decals done. Let's see. Let me print it out. Sorry, y'all. I just need to change the color, print it out. I'm right now, I know I'm like looking a hot mess, but I'm inside of Adobe Illustrator. And I'm trying to, I had to open up that file, remove this part of the artwork from it, and then print it. So I'm so sorry, y'all. Now I gotta select the right printer. But it's all good. So we did, we tested that out, that theory, that did not work. Now we need to do, there were two other things I wanted to do. So we're gonna do the laminate on top of the, um, clear. Was that all I said that we were doing today, y'all? I think. And then I wanted to make that shirt for my boss real quick. Uh, print settings. Okay, everything looks good. The print settings are perfectly fine. Still the same. And, uh, all right. So now while that's printing, let me turn the heat back up. It's not going to take that long. And right now, I'm just putting it on 380 because, yeah. And then we are going to do, and I'm pressing it at 45 seconds. And so now I'm printing out the sub version of this. And we are going to do, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, let's do the peridot now. I'm going to have to do like a random, like, image where I'm just using various rhinestones because I'm mixing up some rhinestones tonight, y'all. Mixing them up. Alright, so we're going to do these green and these are the peridots. And so 
I'm just gonna pour these inside of here and then hopefully I won't mix any more up. Let's see. I mean, oh no, Ravy needs her own channel for sure. For sure. All right, so we're gonna laminate. So we're gonna laminate a piece of that clear Oracle 651. We're also going to sub on top of it. So we know that the Oracle 651, the clear Oracle 651, you cannot laminate directly onto it, but T Hill said that you can, um, you can sub on top of it. So it would have been perfect if we didn't have to use the laminate, but it looks like we have to use the laminate. So we're just gonna sub on top of the, the laminate since I got to laminate it anyway. But for those of you who did not know, T Hill said that you can sub onto that clear Oracle 60, 651 laminate in case you're interested in that. Uh oh. So we're going to do green. I'm doing green on top of pink. So we're going to see how that's going to look. You know, be a little different. Doesn't have to be the same color, but we'll have an idea of what's what. All right. Okay, okay, okay. All right, so, uh, oh, y'all, look how, look at I brought that, look at that, y'all, this pair of dot is gorgeous, y'all, look. Look how pretty, uh, y'all. Y'all know I have to make me a shirt that's going to, it's going to say Hot Girl Leo. That's what it's going to say on it. Or Fake Hot Girl. That's what it'll say. Maybe I should do one that says Hot Girl and then slash through no hot mess. It's more like it. All right, let me put these. Okay, so now I'm going to put these in. We're all done printing. Now we're going to cut a piece of the clear or pull, and then we are going to sub into onto it, and then we are going to place these rhinestones onto it, and that should work beautifully, y'all. That should work beautifully. So with the rhinestones, you want to make sure that you have the right amount of pressure and your temperature is correct. That is important in the entire process of pressing your rhinestones so that they don't come out or they don't fall off. But with this Oracle, it's just like any other vinyl, y'all. Most vinyls you cannot sub, or not sub, you cannot press directly onto them. All right, so let's go ahead and we are just going to, uh-oh, y'all, look at me. Of course, I will push it. All right, so I need to push this up because I did the most when I pressed this down and I moved it. All right, so now we are just going to get this. Thank you, Michelle. Hey, Michelle Lee. Hey, the logo zone. And hey to anybody that's just coming in. We're just playing around tonight, testing out some rhinestone situations, reminding everybody that Eve's buy-in started on Sunday. So if you are interested in getting any rhinestones, hot fix rhinestones, and hot fix rhinestones, y'all, these are the rhinestones that you place onto fabrics. So these go onto clothing. And in this case, like we can get it onto something else because of what we're doing. Um, but also with Hot Fix Rhinestones, if you use products like this, like the laminate, clearly the laminate is working pretty decent. But if you use products like uh, Bling Anything or HTV Anything, you can actually get Hot Fix Rhinestones onto those too. And why do you want to do that? It takes less time than the flatback rhinestones. It takes a lot less time than the flatback rhinestones because the flatback rhinestones, you are placing those one by one. Hey, Miss Crafty Creations. Hey, Minister Melody. All right, so y'all, 
we are all good here. And then now let me get everything else that we're going to need. So here is our hot girl. This is sublimation that we're doing first. And I'm using, this is a sub paper, in case you want to know, along with my ink, dynamic ink. And I'm just cutting this out right now. And then I'm going to throw this over here. I'll worry about cleaning it up later. And then let me get the Oracle. Which one is this? Is this the Oracle? This is not the clear. Uh-oh. Which one is my clear one, y'all? I think this might be it. I got to check and see which one the clear. Because the white and the clear, like, you can't really tell because of the backing. But this is the clear. All right. So we're going to cut a little bit of this enough so that I could use it for and I'm not really measuring because we don't really have time to measure and who cares about measuring who cares about measuring not me <laughs> alright so the transfer paper came from um um key transfer warehouse all anything that has to do like the actual rhinestone transferring that sort of thing came from heat transfer warehouse the laminating sheets that i have those came from amazon i'll post the link um in the chat give me a few minutes i'll post the link in the chat and what else did you say the clear oracle i'll also post the link to the clear oracle in the chat too so for those of you who don't know like i'm using um thermal laminate and this is the laminate that has to be heated this does not work with the self-adhesive um, or self-applying or whatever it's called. It does not work with that laminate. All right, so right now I'm placing a piece of clear laminate on top of the clear Oracle 651. All right, so we're going to get ready to press that. I'm only going to press it for a few seconds, all right, for a few seconds. And then we're going to apply the sublimation on top of that, and then we're going to apply the rhinestones. So let's get to going. I'm going to put a piece of parchment paper underneath. And then we are going to place the Teflon sheet on top. And then I'm just going to press it for a few seconds. That's enough. I press it for maybe like five seconds. It doesn't take that much. But what I'm going to do now is I am going to take my squeegee and just kind of like make sure there are no bubbles or anything, which there aren't. There aren't any bubbles underneath here. Looks like a little right here. But you want to do this while it's hot. And you want to make sure you have on gloves too. All right, so I am just going to go ahead and press this into our sheet. All right, and so I'm gonna put this here, make sure the Teflon, and I still have the parchment paper underneath because that parchment paper is making sure that that laminate doesn't stick to anything. This. But you can take either a squeegee or like a credit card, something um, with a sharp edge or a straight edge. Not really sharp because you don't want it to um, really tear the paper. Hey, Lorraine. <laughs> Welcome. Girl, these rhinestones are everything, Lorraine. I absolutely love the bling. Love the bling. All right, y'all, let's see. Let's see what happens. All right. So next, I am going to turn the temperature down to 325. And 
then we are going to turn the timing down to 20 seconds. All right, this is looking very, very good. I must say that the color, the color looks excellent. Yes, y'all. So this is what we have. The color looks amazing. That color really came off um, on that laminate. Really, really good. And so now we are just going to go ahead and place Hey, Just Paper Crafting, welcome. And then now I'm just going to place the green on top. And then once we do this, we're gonna press this for 325 seconds. It's cooling off. And then we're going to see, I could have pushed it up a little bit, but I'm actually not going to move it. I'm gonna leave it just like this, just how it is. All right, so while that is, while the heat press is cooling off, what other way did I say I was going to show you guys? So we we know for certain that you cannot press directly into the clear Oracle 651, all right? You can use the laminate, and for those of you who just came in, hey, Lakeisha, this is what we did with um, the white Oracle. That's why there's like a, you know, it's a white kind of offset that we cut out but that's why it's a white offset. This is what we did with it. These rhinestones stayed on. They're still on pretty good. You can even see like the indentation in them to where like it really adhered to it. And so we did sublimation underneath the same way that we're doing with the um, clear Oracle. We did sublimation underneath and then we pressed the rhinestone. So the first layer is the Oracle 651. On top of that, you're going to put your uh, laminating sheet so you want to laminate that first you don't have to laminate it for long really three to five seconds is enough for you to at least get it tacked down and just make sure that you kind of smooth it out make sure you don't have any bubbles after you put the laminate on top then you can go ahead and you can press your um then you can press your sublimation on top so whatever image you want to put you can press it on top and then after that, once you turn your heat down, then you go ahead and you press your rhinestones with medium pressure. All right, you press your rhinestones into it, and that's what we—that's how we got it to stick. Now, when we did the clear oracle, we, we tried to do do what we did, but just with clear oracle and rhinestones. That did not go so well. Now, if you want to just do like clear and just have it blinged out like a blinged out rhinestone, then you want to put laminate on top of this and then you could do it. Maybe, you know what, we'll try crafty like that and we'll do, um, I have a crafty one and we'll just, we'll press some um, laminate into the clear oracle and then we'll just do like a, a solid layer of of rhinestones without the sublimation so you can see how that's going to look all right so this is the one these fell off so these did not see they come off so easy they come off too easy like see i'm scratching it and it's coming off so that's no good um but the one with the laminate on top those are working yo laminate is like magic like is I mean, it works for sublimation. It's working for these rhinestones. So let's see. All right. It's still, it's still, um, what you call it? So we're going to press some more. We're going to do crafty, but we're going to do it in that rose gold. Because, you know, we've been a hot girl all night. Let's, mm -mm, mm -mm. That is not, that is not what we want to be. So let's do crafty. <laughs> And we're going to do, let's do, y'all know what? Let me do some Crystal AB. So we'll just do some Crystal AB um, for this crafty real quick. Uh-oh, hold on, Ariana. What'd you say? Can permanent final be heat press? Yeah. Like, that's what we're doing now. And it's, look, so, Rapper J, this was under, okay, so this particular vinyl 
was under the heat press for a few times. So the hottest that I had under this one was, or the hotter, hottest uh, temperature this was under was 380 degrees. Once it cooled off, it is sticking just fine. It is sticking just fine. So yeah. And also like I've done it before with, I have another video that shows like a Dollar Tree um, coffee mug where I use laminate and um, also use like kind of like the same method. And that that uh, wrap is still on that mug. Hey, T hey T. Johnson, I was about to hate, say hey Tracy and I just said hey T. Johnson. Hey girl, hey. Thank you, the logo zone. Thank you for stopping in and it was good to see you. All right, so now I'm going to put in some of these, or, well, some of these um, crystal AVs, and we're just going to apply it here. And then for this one, I'm going to try the, um, we're just going to do it on a straight clear um, Oracle 651. We are going to put some, oh my goodness, y'all. Y'all, if y'all see the mess I'm making with these rhinestones, I am making a mess. I have them everywhere, the wrong colors. Look, with these, you have to be careful because the 6SS, which happens to be my favorite, they're not the most popular, but they are my favorite because I love how they sparkle. Um, they get caught. The smaller the rhinestone, it's easier for it to get caught in that brush. So you don't really, you know, want that. All right, so I'm just rubbing or brushing, rubbing, brushing these in, and these are the crystal ABs. All of these rhinestones that I'm using tonight came from the baby's booty. And I love the 6SS. Y'all see how easy these 6SS's just brush into the holes? They brush in so easy. Look at that. So easy. No stress. Uh oh, one look, one I said so easy and no stress, and then one doesn't want to come in. But guess what? That's no problem for us. That is not a problem. I have my crystal katana right here, and we are just going to pick up a rhinestone and we are going to put it in. All right. So the temperature is already it's almost down. We have a few more seconds, and then it's gonna be where we want it to be, but y'all look at those crystal ABs. Got a whole rhinestone mess out here. But it's all good. And I'm just gonna take this, and this is usually what you can do when you have like a rhinestone missing or that you need to put one in place. Or if you need to pick one up, like I had, like that was doubled uh, there. But y'all, these rhinestones look up. Y'all, I promise you cannot even tell like how pretty these rhinestones are, y'all. Look at this rhinestone. You cannot even tell how pretty they are. And like in person, they are amazing. So I just need to do a transfer. And on this one, this is just on cardstock. So if you don't have like those Dollar Tree mats that I use that's perfectly fine whatever you have that you could use to like at least be able to reuse this so I've reused this several times that's the purpose of having like the Dollar Tree um chopping mat or like using cardstock all right y'all I'm gonna put these back and then we're gonna get ready to head over to the press to press the the decal that we're making all right, let me put this on, and I'm just, uh-oh, sorry, y'all. Give me two seconds. I have to put this in. If not, I already have, like, a hot mess over here with these rhinestones, so I just want to make sure that I have them all going in the same place, the right colors. Thank you, Lorraine. All right, if I can put that order and be adhesive wrap for the rhinestone. So you can order, if you want that adhesive, like the bling anything or the HTV anything, you have to get that from um, the Rhinestone World. They sell, they sell like the actual, like, you know, they sell wrap that you can, can use. 
All right, y'all. So let's go ahead and do this. So I'm going to put this back underneath the heat press. And now we're pressing this for 325 or at 325 degrees for 20 seconds. All right. And I am applying medium pressure. I just adjusted the pressure a little bit. So I need to see. Um, you know, just to make sure it's good. Because I don't know. Let's see. All right, that feels good. All right, so then we are going to take this. And then I'm just going to get that. Uh-oh. I'll leave this here for now. <laughs> All right, so let's see. And y'all, this is the one, um, so I'm just going to leave this here for now, and then we'll go ahead and we'll do another um, laminate with the other way. But this is what we have so far. Um, I do need to be careful how I remove the tape. All right. So this is it on to the laminate. And then, now where do I want to put this? I'm not doing another hot cold one. All right, so let's see how this is going to do. We're going to let it cool off for a little bit. And then the same way when we tried to peel off the other, the clear laminate, we're going to peel this off too. All right, so I'm just going to cut around it. And then now I'm just cutting off, you know, the extra laminate and stuff that's around it. Uh oh. Y'all even tell that I got y'all too close to the camera. Like, girl, are you trying to show everything? Let's see. And then we're, we have one more press to do. And then I don't know if I'm going to make that, that shirt. It's already 8.30. All right, so this is the, yeah, look at, first of all, look how pretty those, that bling is, so pretty. All right, so I let it cool off for a little bit with the bling, this green, like y'all can't even really see how gorgeous this green is, y'all. I'm trying to let y'all see how gorgeous it is, but it is gorgeous. All right, so. Let's go ahead. Let's do the peel test because now we got to do a peel test because remember that last peel test we had, y'all. Yo, that was a hot mess. All right, so let's do the peel test. So right now we're doing the peel test. And remember, when we peeled the other one off, like when, as soon as we started peeling it off of the backing, that is when those rhinestones started coming off. Now we're peeling this. Remember, we did the Clear Oracle 651. Then we did the laminate sheet on top of the clear oracle 651 then we subbed it and then we did um then we pressed the rhinestones and right now the rhinestones when we're peeling it off and i'm bending it the rhinestones are not coming off like they did with the other with that clear and so this is what we have but it's super super transparent so if you were to place this onto, you know, like something that has a solid color, because look, y'all, you can see the color, but it's transparent. But if it goes onto something, I'm trying to see what I could put it on. Hold on, y'all. Y'all know I got to put it on something so y'all can see.
All right, y'all. So y'all know how, well, this particular cup I subbed onto this cup. This was from, what was this from y'all? Um, Michael's or Joanne's, I don't remember. So we can go ahead. We are going to put this onto this white cup to see how, how it's going to look on there. But let me cut this. Because... Again, if you want to do like a closer cut, you can use your cutting machine. So if you have a Cricut or a Silhouette, you can definitely use that. But y'all, this is this is permanent vinyl. Of course, you don't want to be touching all over the back like I'm touching all over the back. You want to do this before you have that backing off. But y'all know I'd be reckless a lot, so saying true to myself today not gonna pretend I do the right thing all the time all right so here we go so now you see it's transparent but let's put this on a white backing and let's see how it would look on like a white backing or you could put this on a different color backing you could put it on a, a silver you know whatever color it is that you have you could but we're going to try this white and y'all y'all so if you're gonna do this you want to make sure like you put it place it on correctly <laughs> not like me i didn't place it on right <laughs> but you do want to make sure that you place it on correctly all right so so far i don't know how i would feel like putting this like if I would want to be washing this, that's the only thing. Like, I don't know. I would have to test this out to see like with washing it, with it being in a washer and testing it out that way. But right now these are pretty legit onto this laminate, but you do, I would definitely suggest using um, medium pressure when pressing. You can always give it a second press, but this is what we have onto this cup. So you can do whatever you want. You can put it on a car, like do a decal on a car. I am interested in seeing like how it would last outside. Um, I have like some clear um, UV resistant. Um, it's not Oracle. It's like a clear UV resistant laminate. Maybe that would work really nicely. But this is with it with sublimation and with... Um, the rhinestones so we did two two different versions of this we did hold on i'll show you guys in a second let me move these rhinestones i don't plan on using them anymore but we did two different versions so we did so we did this version which was the clear um that was the clear Oracle 651 and then we laminated on top of that and then we sub and then we press the rhinestones you cannot press the rhinestones directly into the clear Oracle and then we did the white Oracle 651 with laminate on top and then we subbed and then we pressed the the rhinestones in and both of those seem to hold the rhinestones pretty well. I know I put this on a cup, but I would not suggest like going putting this on a cup just yet. Like I would want to put it in the washer, see how it would go, you know, with it being washed, at least hand washed and seeing how that goes. Like if any of those rhinestones would fall off. So I'm very, very curious about that, but I can say what I did the other night that um, hat, some of you who were on here with me on Saturday, you saw when we put the rhinestones on top of the that graduation cap topper and we laminated on top of it, those rhinestones are still there today. So none fell off. They still look great. So I'm hopeful. I am hopeful. But I am going to do this one and then y'all I know I said I was gonna do that thing with my um boss but y'all I don't think I'm gonna do that 
I think I think that might have to wait. I'm a little bit I'm a little tired. Um, let me see. Where's that oracle? Yeah, where did I put the oracle six fifty one? And for those of you, I do. I actually have like bling anything. Well, this is HTV anything. I have a whole bunch of HTV anything, and I have bling anything. So I do use these products too, and I have have had good um success with those products as well. Yo, what do I do with the oh here it is. I'm about to say, girl. Always losing something on camera. Thank you, Kim. So we are going to I just want to see if this is gonna fit. And that is going to fit. So let me just cut off a little piece right here. And then we'll see how it looks. This is really just so for us to see how it looks without doing sublimation um especially if you have like a multicolored uh piece or a multicolored image that you're doing different color rhinestones with we, you know we can see how that's going to look how that would work if you choose not to do any colors on it or any uh sublimation because that could also work all right, let me. All right, y'all. We got a lot going on today. Not really a lot going on, but a lot going on. All right, let me press. Now I'm just going to press the lambda into the oracle. And we're only pressing it for a few seconds. It doesn't require much. Because remember, you're going to be pressing it again. Anyway, so you don't have to overpress it. Right? And then we are going to place the word crafty on top. Thanks, Dempsey Boo. All right, so let me look. And I have rhinestones hiding underneath here. When I tell y'all I have rhinestones everywhere. All right. And so y'all, when you have this transfer tape, as soon as we're, I'm done, I'm going to go over like everything that I, I use and I'll put it in the chat, y'all. But when you have transfer tape, you don't have to keep, you don't have to throw it away after every use. You can use it over and over. I use it maybe for like four or five times. I get a good like four to five uses out of it. So... Tonight, I kind of like threw some in the garbage that I would usually use again. But it's just because I'm like kind of like just trying to go a little quicker. So I'm not be taking my solo time. All right, so I'm just going to cut off this extra stuff, transfer tape. And then we are going to, where's the father? Tomorrow, I'm going to have to do that. Um, and of course, when you're doing it, you don't want to waste your product. So make sure you cut it to the right size. I'm not really um, focused on that. But typically, that's what you want to make sure that you do. You cut it, you know, to the right size. So you're not wasting your products. Because you could totally use, you know, this could be a whole nother transfer for something so you don't want to waste your stuff all right so i'm gonna go back and press this for another 325 and we're gonna see how that looks that should be fine i'm pretty pleased with how this looks i think this would make a good like car decal I'm going to let y'all know how this holds up over the next few days. But I think it would make a good car decal. All right. I'm not going to do that other one just yet. Okay. So that's what we have. And so now this one... 
So when you do it like this, when you don't have like a color in the back, like how we have the color in the back of this one and the other one, you want to make sure that your rhinestones, if you're designing your template yourself, you want to just make sure that your rhinestones, um, like the spacing is good so you can see what it says, right? So we are going to do this. And I just need to peel it because right now it's already ready to come off of the backing. And we don't want that to come off the backing just yet. So I am peeling off the transfer tape. And remember, we did this one with Clear Oracle 651. Then we pressed the laminate on top. And then we pressed the, the rhinestones on it. And so usually my it's a, a warm peel. And so that's why it was like a little more difficult for it to come off. But this is what we have on top of that clear Oracle um, 651. And let's go ahead. This is our peel test. Let me see if I could lift this up. I did want to cut. Let me cut this a little bit. We're just going to leave it kind of square. But if you want a better cut, better outline cut of it, you can definitely get that by using one of your cutters. I was a lazy person tonight and so I did not use the cutter. So I'm sorry y'all. Sorry that it doesn't look all that professional, but oh, miss. All right, so let's go ahead and give it the peel test. I'm going to peel it from the bottom. And remember, this has the layer of laminate, the clear. So the, with the peel test, we're just going to bend it. Because remember, when we were taking the other one off, they started popping off. Crazy. All right, so this is what this looks like. You guys can't even really see how gorgeous it is. Oh, my goodness. Y'all can't even tell how gorgeous this is. Let me try to. Hold on, let me see if I could move it up and then you guys can see. But it is gorgeous. Oh, you guys can't tell. It's so pretty, y'all. It's so pretty. You know, it's my light. But this is what we have. And so this is the Crystal AB. And so it's very sticky. Super, 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 super sticky. Because it's the, the um, Oracle 651. And so I am going to go ahead and I am going to just put it up here. But see, this is a clear backing. So let's see how it would look. So on a white, these are 6SS rhinestones, Miss Diane. So on the white background, if we were to put it there, you know, you could see it pretty clear. I don't want to put it there, but you guys see how that looks. And then... I'm going to put it, but I'm just going to put it on my rhinestone um, box for now as a decal. I might just go around the whole thing and just put more decals. So this is what we have, y'all. And these are, I use, I only use 6SS tonight, y'all, or SS6. I don't know. I always say 6SS or 10SS. But that's all I use tonight for tonight's projects. And this is what we have. And I will let y'all know how this goes. Um, we also did the cup. So we did this cup with on top of laminate. Y'all, this is good. Make sure you use medium pressure. I would definitely suggest using medium pressure. But on these, you can see like the indentation of these rhinestones being pressed into the um, the laminate. So it's up to you how you do it. But and these are these came out good too. Like they all came out pretty decent. But do not. Hold on, I'm gonna switch over in a minute. Do not um, press them directly into this. This we press directly into the um, clear Oracle 651 and they popped right off. All right. As I took it off of the backing, 
they pop, they started to pop. You don't see that. They start to pop right off as soon as you like lift it or give it any type of pressure. So you don't want to use, um, you don't want to press them directly into the Oracle 651. We figured that out tonight. That is not going to work that way, okay? So the laminate is really what is the secret um, ingredient. It's the secret ingredient. All right, I'm going to switch over. Per the usual, y'all know, y'all know that that's bound to happen when I'm switching over from this, this camera. Dibs, I got your message. Look, Dibs, Dibs says, he's like, can I hear you? Can y'all hear me now? Please tell me y'all can hear me now. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> tell me, tell me, yes, y'all can hear me. Please say that y'all can hear me. This is a hot mess. Let's see. Thanks, being Pam B. Because that's what I want. Like, I still want to reuse these. Like, hey, Harris family. Girl, it's almost, we're almost done with the school year, honey. We are almost done. Almost done. Hey, Sin, I missed you, girl. Sin, I called you the other day, Sunday or Monday. I can't remember which one, Sunday or Monday. Call me, call me if you're free. I'm about to get off in a minute. All right, y'all. And don't forget, Friday, we are going to be doing a cropped hoodie. Let me drink some of this nasty tea. It's like water. So we're going to be doing a cropped hoodie, um, sewing it. Eve and Dimsy Boo and I. Thanks, Mary B. Y'all know Dim sent me an email like, girl, get your sound in together. Like, you'll sound a hot mess. <laughs> she didn't say that, but that's what she meant. All right, y'all. So I'm going to put in the link um, in the chat what all the materials that we used tonight. So we used the Oracle 651. We used white Oracle 651. We also used um, clear Oracle 651. And I'm going to link that in the in the chat. If you catch the replay or if you're catching the replay, a link to everything that I used will be in the description. All right. So you won't have to worry about that. All right. So let me make sure I picked the right one. Um, I think this is it. Article 651, clear. How many of these did I buy, y'all? Might have bought quite a few. I think this is it. I buy a lot of stuff, y'all. If y'all didn't know that, always find something. Okay, this is it. All right, so let me put this here. Copy. All right, so I'm putting a link to the actual products that I used, and then I'll go and do um, the other stuff later. So the first thing that I'm putting is the Oracle 651, and that is the clear Oracle 651. If you want the white Oracle 651, it's y'all. It's it's you can find it anywhere. Michaels, Joann's, Hobby Lobby. Um, 
on Amazon. They have the white. If you want, let me go ahead and put it in here too in case. So that's the first one is the clear Oracle 651 that I used. And then the other one, let me go back. We need white Oracle 651. And it needs to be the 651, which is the permanent permanent vinyl. All right, so here I'm going to put, and I'm putting the exact one that I have. All right, so the next one is the white Oracle 651. I should have put a clear, like made it clear, white Oracle 651. All right, the first one was the clear. And then what else do we use, y'all? I think that's pretty much all that we really use. We use sublimation paper. I used a sub. I used my ink, dynamic ink. I used um, oh, let me go to heat transfer warehouse so that you guys could see the supplies that I used for um, tonight. I think that's all we really use with that Oracle six fifty one, mostly. Um, let me get to um my rhinestones so you guys could see exactly where I got my, my stuff from. Hold on, y'all. All right, so here are the, okay, so here's the link for the rhinestone supplies that I used um, for the brush, for the transfer tape, the, you wanna get hot fix transfer tape for the flock, for the pink, um, Block that I used to cut this out. I got all of this from this and also the transfer tape. I got all of that from Heat Transfer Warehouse. And here is the link right here. So these are the rhinestone accessories that I used. They also sell hot fix rhinestones and the rhinestones that we use tonight are hot fix. This cannot be done with the flat back. Flat back rhinestones do not go underneath the heat press. So you wanna make sure that they are hot fix rhinestones. And so if you are not interested in buying bulk, I'm gonna drop Eve's link also, but if you are not interested in buying bulk and you just wanna test it out, you wanna try out the bling, um, Heat Transfer Warehouse also sells hot fix rhinestones that you can test out. They are great. Um, also Amazon also sells hot fix rhinestones also that's not in bulk, but if you are interested in doing like a lot of rhinestone projects, I would definitely recommend using, um, the opportunity of participating in the buy-in because one rhinestone project, you could be using up to 2000 rhinestones. And for the most part, you're buying them in increments of maybe like 1400. I think it's like 1440 people are usually selling them in like 10 gross or so. So you do want to like, you know, if you see that you're going to be using more, Eve has her buy-in once a month. And it's usually that last Sunday of the month where it starts and it usually ends the first Sunday of the month. So if you're interested in that, check her out because... I love my rhinestones that I get from her. The quality is amazing. Um, and they provide really, really good customer service. So you want to do that. They also come with uh, these containers so that you can have storage for them. If not, they used to come in uh, just the regular bag that they, sh you know, that they were shipped from the manufacturer from. So you want to try, you know I mean, I would try them out just if I was interested, but to test, get you a small batch from Heat Transfer Warehouse, get you a small batch from Amazon. I would prefer Heat Transfer Warehouse because um, I think you still get more bang for your buck, even though you're not buying in bulk. But if you just want to try Amazon because you're more comfortable with Amazon, try them out. But be careful with buying flock. You don't want to buy flock from just anybody. Everybody's flock ain't flocking, okay? So you want to make sure that you get... Heat Transfer Warehouse has amazing flock. That is the only flock that I use, which is this. And it's just, um, what is it called, y'all? Rocket flock. Bye, Jesse. Thank you for coming back. So that's just like rocket flock. And um, 
who else has oh the rhinestone roll also has flock their flock is blue he transfer warehouses flock is pink like this like this pink so check them out i would totally 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 check it out just to test it out so yes take 250 times 140 and that's the amount of stones that you're going to get thank you jesse for coming in clutch so 250 how much is that was is that like six where's where's patrice at patrice always tells me the right number i never remember the right number but yeah Good night, Minister Melody. Thank you for hanging out with me tonight. I appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys try it out. Um, I am going to keep y'all posted because now I want to bling all of the namnet. I want to bling all of the namnet. So I want to make something. I may make a decal with um, an image in bling to see how that's going to look. I do want to try that out. Thank you, Jan Williams. So that's 36,000. 36,000. Thank you so much. Y'all know I, I forget. So, but that is amazing. Y'all are so helpful. And I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out tonight. I really am. Even this cup, I'm going to try to heat this off. I'm going to use my heat gun to take this off because this is just like a tester cup. I did a video uh, for sublimation. So I usually just test out the same cups over and over again when it's something that I want to try. But this actually came out super, super good on here. Uh -oh. I don't know if you guys could really see. It's this light right here that's causing me, like y'all can't see the real, the real blinkage. That's what that is. But so pretty decent. Pretty happy with tonight's outcome for a change. I wasn't too much of a hot mess. So now I got to clean up all these rhinestones. Thank you, Ariana. I appreciate that. There's going to be a lot of blingage going on around here. Oh, I got to go see those. I got to go see those pictures, Mary, for Zach. Y'all make sure to head over to Discord too. If this hack is awesome. I have my bling anything looking right at me right now. My bling anything and my HTV anything. And they're both like just looking at me. So they're like, girl, I know you're not kicking me to the curb. I'm not gonna kick them to the curb. I want to test this out a little bit more to see, you know, what all it can do. We know that, you know, it can't go directly onto the the Oracle but with the laminate it can and so the laminate usually does pretty well with the oracle and um like with sublimation so i want to see how this is so i'm i think i'm going to leave this on and maybe wash it and then i'll get back to y'all and let y'all know like okay you can put it in the washer or mm -mm, just use it as a decal don't put it in the washer we'll see oh i'm about to put y'all i'm about to put the wrong rhinestones in the wrong container talking so much no problem Lorraine thank you they're not easy to oh no girl I want to do my I want to learn this serger thank you fabulosis thanks so much y'all I appreciate y'all so much and it's time for me to get ready for bed so I can go teach some humans tomorrow. I have a few of their um, study guides for their finals next week. And so we will be working on that. We will be working on what it is that they need to be prepared for, for um, next week. So that's my plan. That's my plan. It's been a lot of Macbeth. I've been watching Mac Macbeth since last week because they are doing um, some Shakespeare in their classes. And so that's going to be part of their final. So, which is a good refresher for me. I used to like Shakespeare. Thank you, Fabulosis. 
I will see y'all. Good night, Theodore. Oh, my belly. This is awesome. Please let us know how it goes. Please let us know how it goes. No problem, Nini. Thank you. Thank you, Mary, for dropping the link for Discord. So bling anything. All right, y'all. So before we get off, I'm going to explain two different products that the Rhinestone Rose shares. All right. So they share a product called um, Bling Anything. And so this is the Bling Anything. So with Bling Anything, um, Rhinestones can be applied directly to the Bling Anything. And so that's what this is for. So you can apply like the way that we did this, like how this did not go so well for us. Hold on. So the way that this didn't go so well, well for us when we tried to apply the rhinestones directly to the Oracle 651, the bling anything can take the heat and it can take those rhinestones. So those rhinestones will attach to it. But it's almost like it or almost exactly like how it applies to the laminate sheets. So it applies directly to the laminate sheet. That's how you would just place it directly onto here. So you don't need anything else. So, but the problem with the laminate sheet is, is that the laminate sheet has to be heat activated. This has a sticker, like an adhesive on the back. So when you peel it off, you don't have to worry about anything like that. So that's why with the laminate sheet, you have to put it on either that clear Oracle 651, or you can put it on the white Oracle 651, or you can put it on whatever color Oracle you really want to put it on, as long as there's laminate on top. Um, but that makes it a sticker then. Then it can become a decal. You can put it on your car. You can put it on your fridge. You can put it on your laptop as a decal. Oh, y'all, I should put this crafty on my laptop. Dems, why you didn't tell me that? You saw me putting it on this little container that's going to go in the corner until I'm ready to use it again. I put it on the laptop. It's like a decal. You can put it on your laptop. You can put it any place once it has that sticker, that adhesive on the back. So that's the difference. With this, you don't need the laminate because you can just apply directly and peel it and stick it. The laminate, the reason why we use the Oracle is because it makes it a decal. It makes it a sticker. It makes, and then the, the 651 is permanent. So that's, you know. Now, the HTV Anything, what makes HTV Anything um, special or different is that you can actually apply HTV on top of this. So and then it becomes a decal or whatever it is that you want it to be. So it doesn't have to be glitter. So a lot of times we use glitter with this because you apply the rhinestones on top of the glitter. So you'll apply glitter HTV on top of this. Then you'll apply the rhinestones on top of the glitter HTV. And then the same way we peeled it off, then you just peel your backing off. So this HTV can be applied, like you can heat HTV to this. Now, you want to make sure that you're using the Glitter HTV if you're going to be using the Hot Fix Rhinestones. If you don't want to use the Hot Fix Rhinestones and you just want to make, you know, a, a HTV decal, you can with regular HTV. You just cannot put Hot Fix Rhinestones on top of regular HTV. They don't stick. They will come off the same way they came off of this um, clear Oracle 651. But the HTV anything, you use that. You can do, I have a video showing using the HTV anything. I made a tumbler and I also made a um, a cover, a rhinestone cover for my Cricut Maker. More recent videos show Angel B, she did the same thing she did with her, um, she did tumblers and she also did her Cricut Maker. So you can see, and then if you want even more details about HTV anything or bling anything, check out the rhinestone roll because every week they show how to use their products. Every week they're showing different ways of using um, HTV anything or the bling anything. I hope I explained that well. I hope I did. Y'all know I could talk a lot. Y'all know I'd be talking, 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 talking. So yeah, yes. Um, X Tools had a, a sale, I think, for Memorial Day. I don't remember. They, I think they did. But as y'all see, I have been 
trying to master this new rotary. Um, I'm not excited about that. So y'all want to make some flask? I know we're not going to make any flask on Friday night because Friday we are going to be doing a whole bunch of sewing on Friday. But maybe on Saturday um, I'll come on and maybe we can work on some Father's Day things with the X tool. Because I've been meaning to to get this rotary blade, rotary attachment situated, but mm -mm. <laughs> Lorraine, you are a hot mess. <laughs> I can't. No worries, Taryn. Everything is all well. Hey, friend. Hey, Coretta. Thank you, 755. I appreciate y'all. Oh, state testing, being Pam B, y'all not almost done with school? Oh my goodness. Thank you. Yes, 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 Harris family. All right, y'all. So if I missed your comment, I'm sorry. I'm gonna try to watch this. So this tumbler, I'm going to wash it. So I'm gonna let I'm actually gonna let it sit for a little bit. So I'm gonna let it sit for like a day um before I even put it in the wash. But I do want to let it sit for a day just to see, you know, if it if it if it holds up under there. I'm curious to see. So that's gonna be the plan. I'm going to wait, let it kind of cure a little bit gel together and then we'll see and then i'll let y'all know probably by friday we'll we'll revisit it a little bit because i'm sure we'll talk a little bit about the buy-in because um eve will be on with us oh the buy-in i did not even put the link in there i'm sorry hold on let me put where i got the rhinestone from um i put it in earlier i think but we are going to put it in again so you guys can see exactly where I got these from. And this is from the baby's booty. The baby's booty dot store, I think it is. So let me go ahead, copy. All right, so I'm gonna head back over here. And so I'm putting the link inside of the chat to Eve's buy-in. All right, so if you're interested, check her out, y'all, check her out. Let's see if you got if it can. I know. I want to see. All right, so I'm gonna put one. I may have to make another one. I should have just did saved it, but I wanted to peel it off so that you guys could see. Because remember, y'all, when we peel this off, this is a hot mess. But yo, I'm going to use the rest of these rhinestones. I am not going to let them go to waste. So I do want to take those apart, but. Yep, yep, yep. Hold on. Hold on, y'all. I'm like skipping up. I'm hoping X tool has a sale. Being Pam says the rhinestones adhere to the laminate because of the polyester coating that the laminate has. It was many years because the glue is melted into the laminate like it melts into material. Oh, awesome. So we should be super, super hopeful that this is actually working for us, being Pam. Y'all know she's smart. That's why I had to see what she had to say. I had to see. So the rhinestone, it is, it is. I've made several rhinestone cups with HTV anything, and it is a great product. I'm like looking at it because I don't want it to think that, y'all know I be thinking my craft and tools be talking to me. I don't want it to think I'm kicking it to the curb, but uh, I need to test this laminate. It might be a good option. <laughs> Thank you, Lorraine. I am going to get ready for bed in a minute. It will last many years. Awesome. Hopefully, it'll be more than that, Mary Warzak. Hopefully, the X tool will be more than 17% off, especially for Father's Day. I think they are having something, if I recall seeing in my email. I think they are having something. I just don't remember what it is now. And it was just like $700, but they do have that new, the new rotary um, attachment that I'm going to show you all. Um, I've been doing an unboxing for this thing since maybe like a month ago and they were even so kind and they even sent me the, um, the crumb tray and I haven't even had any time to really do anything, but 
it's coming. We're going to do those flasks and it's some other like round objects that I want to try to do with them. So we will, we will. How oh, awesome for Lilybug. Girl, I wish my last day was tomorrow. Hey, unbiased. Welcome. Happy Tuesday. We're about to get off of this thing real quick. My sister booty. <laughs> it's all good, girl. It's all good. Thank you, Dempsey Boo. All right, y'all. Because you're looking extra pretty in there. <laughs> no hot dates for me. <laughs> no hot dates. Just over here being a hot mess. See, somebody understands me. Somebody understands me. See, they say your tribe will find you and you will find your tribe. So, because I know I, everybody, look, I'm like everybody, all my crafts, all, all my tools, all my machines have a name. I talk to them. I fuss with them. Like, yeah. Yep. I fuss with them too. But I don't know if my code is still is still active. Like I still have my affiliate link with them, but I don't know if the code is still active. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna ask them. I'm gonna see if if I still have I think it was like 20% off or something like was it 10% off? It was a percentage off. I just don't remember how much it was. But I'm gonna check, girl. I'm gonna check. Good night, my love, Christina. Have an amazing week. And then Friday, y'all, be sure to join us on Friday. Friday, y'all, I don't know what y'all going to see on Friday, but I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a complete show. I'm pretty sure that it's going to be a complete show. Dimps, I'm sure Dimps is going to be on point. Eve, Eve, Eve is going to be on point. It's going to be me. And this is my idea. So I know I'm not going to be on point on Friday. I'm excited. I want to try it. And yeah, so but I love y'all. I got to get ready to go. Oh, hey, hey, baby Hale. Welcome and happy Tuesday. Why are you nervous, Dempsey Boo? Don't be nervous. So the new rotary tool, like there's like four different features now that it's supposed to do. I should be well versed on it by now because I've had it for a month, but I have not really like actually used it with different things. But remember the first video that I did with the X tool and I showed how because it was tapered, it did not, um, it did not burn or laser like evenly. Well, with the new rotary blade, like you can do like a tilt, like there's so many different things that you could do with it to level it. And so you won't experience like what I experienced. Um, you can do, now they have a thing where you can grab it and you can actually do like a ball and do pretty much a 360 with the ball. Um, it can also grab um, like the ceramic mugs with the handles and like turn it all the way around for you so that the handle isn't in the way. Like there's so many different things that it can can do now. So I just need to play around with it a little bit more. Good night, Lorraine. Thank you for joining us, Lorraine. It was a pleasure, girl. It was a pleasure. So I don't know, Marilyn, I gotta, you know, you know, you're my friend and you know that I'm a hot mess over here. So Girl, we're about to figure some stuff out with this, but I'm excited about using it. I am going to use, do a flask. Now, you, I can do a flask in Bell. Um, so I'm going to, maybe I'll do a flat on Saturday. Saturday, y'all, we might have date night on Saturday. I know Friday is date night, but, you know, Friday is going to be like hanging with my girls type of situation. So Saturday might be date night. So maybe Saturday we'll have a Saturday date night for a change. And we'll work on some things for the fellas. We'll work on some things for Father's Day. What y'all think? We'll probably do that. I don't know. Because I've been meaning to work on some Father's Day um, projects for a while. And I just have not. So we'll see. <laughs> oh, Dimson, that's perfectly fine. 
that's hopefully you'll you you can have on your cropped um hoodie at work but put on a shirt underneath that cropped hoodie girl don't be showing those people all your goods but put on a crop like a nice little tank top underneath and then you have your cropped hoodie or you can be so cute on date night you'll be so cute on date night i love that <laughs> Uh oh, Marilyn. Marilyn, we just gonna. I think I don't know. I haven't, and I have part of the part of the video already recorded, um, and saved. I just don't have the rest of it. And so, hopefully, this week, next week, Tuesday, y'all, we may not do crafty talk. Um, Tuesday, because I'm so behind, and I just need to to think. So we may be off next week, Tuesday, from crafty talk. Tuesday. We may just, you know, especially since I'm going to come on on Saturday anyway. So thank you, unbiased. So we'll see. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> oh, well, I'm about to head out, Lorraine. I want everybody to get some rest. It's like 920 something here. I did not eat dinner, so I'm going to have to find me some snacks. I think I have some more blackberries. Um, on the fridge, I love food eating, and I'm trying to eat healthy. If you guys did not see our podcast, I am trying to eat healthier, so I have been on a bad, bad track lately with eating, and so now I'm trying to get back on track. And so I'm trying to eat healthier. I have not cut. I have not cut out my sweet tea. Y'all know how I feel about my sweet tea, but I have limited it myself to one per day. And that's why I'm very disappointed in the one that I did get today. So, Big Boy Prince, hey, what's up? Happy Tuesday. I'm still over here DTFing, Big Boy. Ghost is back there just staring me down, but Ghost is still still legit but ghost ghost could be a headache though so but he's still over there working i'm trying to get um i'm actually somebody i gotta talk to you because i think i told you about i think it's, it's not the 1430 it's some other printer um that's possibly coming for me to test out so i gotta talk to you about it <laughs> she's gonna wear that hoodie Hoodie. Uh oh. Oh, did I miss? Who did I miss? No. Y'all, so it's about time for me to like head out. Oh, hold on. Hold on, Sherry. Let me drop the link to the podcast. It is a hot mess type of podcast. It's not, we don't even have a name yet, y'all. So I really need y'all to go over there and like give me some suggestions for names because. Y'all know I can't count on Terrell. For those of you who have seen the podcast, y'all know I can't count on Terrell to come up with a name because he is a hot mess. So we're not even going to even count him in for anything to find out anything. Hold on. I'm going to put the link to the entire. We have about five episodes so far. And so we're supposed to have a name already by now. Because guess what? Guess who has to make a sign? And I got to decorate the the back of the, the wall and everything. Me. So some of you guys have come on and given great suggestions for names. But please, please, please. Oh, look at Dims and Mare Bear. I love y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. DC some 13 by 90 paper so she can bring her up. Awesome. <laughs> I love y'all. But y'all, I'm about to head out. Big boy, you going on live anytime this week? Are you going to? It was so nice to have you the other Friday night. Are you going to be live again soon? Oh, Thank you, Lorraine. Oh, wait. 755, are you... Because I know you got your little sewing machine. You got everything. All Are you going to be sewing with us tonight? Another day on Friday night. 
please let me know because we are making a cropped hoodie. Where's Unbiased? Unbiased, are you making a cropped hoodie with us? Somebody, listen, y'all. I'm just letting y'all know this. Somebody has to actually make this cropped hoodie because it, it, it probably won't be me. All right, I'm, I'm going to be here with all the stuff. Y'all know I'm going to have all the machines. I'm going to have all the fabric. I'm going to have all the supplies. But I'm not going to have all the scents. And I know that my anxiety is probably going to take over. And I am probably going to have a meltdown on camera with y'all. Okay? So I need somebody. Whether it's 755, unbiased, don't be giving me these eyes. Dips. And you already know Eve is like me. Me and Eve, Eve is like, fool, why did you pull me into this? You know you can't do it. Now you pulling me into it. Well, you know we gotta stick together. It's our it's me and Eve's Friday date night. So I mean, usually she tells me what we're gonna do because I'm all I never know. I never, but guess what? She let me decide this time, and guess what? This is what we're doing. We are making a cropped hoodie two non-sewers will be making a cropped hoodie. <laughs> I'm biased. It's like, I could just look in the <laughs> Y'all are going to be like, what type of craft and mess is this? But yes, 755. I'm so excited. 755 is going to be making a hoodie too. This is going to be fun. It's, it's going to be fun. So, good night, Mary. Where's that? Mary, I'm about to get off here, too. But Friday is going to be fun. Make sure y'all join us. Um, I need to print out the actual pattern. But, I don't know. We'll get it done. It'll, it'll, I'll have it printed out before Friday. But, y'all, thank you so much for joining me tonight for our bling situation and our bling test. Um, for the most part, everything worked out pretty decent and I am, you know, I'm going to test this out, let y'all know how these rhinestones hold up. Once this kind of like cures a little bit more, I'll wash it in the, um, in the washer. I'm not going to put it inside of a dishwasher or anything. I'm just going to wash it and then we can kind of see how this will hold up underneath um water but right now all these rhinestones are still pretty legit and they're cooled off so but it's like being pam b said it's the polyester coating that is really helping it to um to stick onto there so uh, mary's making a hoodie too yes y'all okay good so somebody can at least have some success and they could post and say all right patrice ain't know what she was doing but we knew what we were doing and so you know you too can make a hoodie just don't follow what patrice is doing because she don't know <laughs> but is it in the community which one hold on Hold on, T Hill. Where's okay? It should be in the community. It should, but I'm gonna repost it. T Hill, you gonna make a hoodie too? Uh, so I'm getting like a terry fabric, yellow terry fabric. I'm gonna make a hoodie for Josie, a yellow one, and I'm also going to blink it out. Well, that's what I hope to do. Yo, <laughs> that's what I, that's what I hope to do. I gotta stop talking so grand. We talk so grand, don't even know what I'm doing a hot mess. Keep it to me. This is not going to be an easy, a easy thing to do. It's not, but we're going to get it done. We're going to get it done. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate all of you for sticking it out with me tonight, testing out this bling, this laminate and ease rhinestones. So head over to thebabiesbooty.com or it's thebabiesbooty.store um, and you can get more information on the rhinestone buy-in from there or you can look onto her YouTube channel, The Baby's Booty, or her Facebook group, The Hoop Group, or her Facebook page, The Baby's Booty, all right? But I love y'all and I appreciate you guys for spending time with me tonight. And I'll see you on Friday.